All right, if you guys know my videos, um, I actually have done a uh, Dr. Afra video on the uh, six inch uh, Black Series figure. That's actually been bumped up to about 200 bucks in retail, I see, on uh, Amazon, but uh, yeah. What's up guys and gals, welcome to another Dell Reviews. Reviews, and today's review, I will be doing the Black Series Grand Admiral Thrawn. Have a better one tomorrow, yeah, why not? So if you guys and girls do not know who Dr. Afra is, she is simply a, um, what a imperial, or not imperial, she's an archaeologist pretty much, who um, she got hired by a lot of people, including Darth Vader himself, so, I'm bad at her. but no, yeah, she, uh, she's been hired by people uh, in the background on the card, that's her two robots, uh, BT and uh, Zero... Damn it, I forget. Triple, triple zero, triple zero. Yeah. So on the back of this roster, though, we have the Range Trooper, Luke, Cassian, Dr. Afra, Han Solo, and Infant Ness. I heard these, or uh, I heard Han isn't really that much worth anything. Neither is she. She's actually, she actually runs for about 20 bucks for uh, the 3.75 inch Kenner line. The only... Full disclosed reason, honestly, personally, I'm opening this because I, I don't think I've ever opened a Kenner, um, a, a Kenner figure, on camera or off, honestly. But it's rid, it's ridged right here, right here, down there, and I want to say somewhere else, but I think that's it. Or, yeah, on the back there, kind of led to the back too. So yeah, them creases, I mean, if you're a super collector, you know, the creases just limits the, uh, the value pretty much on these figures. Uh, a little bit right there, too. Let's already explain that. No, yeah, I think I did. But yeah, um, other than that, let's go ahead and get to the figure. Holy sh... <laughs> let's say... Holy crap, man. This is this is really tiny. Like, I've seen some Kenners, they, they, you know, it says 3.75, but like, some of them look pretty bulk. This thing is really tiny if you guys were to um, physically hold this. Like, I'm just like pinching it and it looks tiny. I'm trying to get some good lighting for her. But, um, no, cool thing with her, she has this really dope tattoo right here. If it'll uh, focus. Yeah, there we go. She has this really dope tattoo. Um, I actually have not read enough of the, her comics to actually understand if she's. Um, <clears throat> how she got the tattoo or anything, but. It's definitely there. I actually don't know if she's a different race or anything, but I'm sure she's just a race. This is her toy form. But on the box, it shows her looking like that. It Honestly, it hurt just opening this. Because I'm not used to opening Kenner's at all, but that's what she looks like. And uh, if this does focus, this is her only um, accessory. It is the tiniest of tiniest of guns <laughs> there you go kind of looks like Han Solo's without this scope on the side but it is really tiny surprisingly detailed too with the muzzle super surprising with that and articulation wise she uh you know she does a standard thing swivels hand can swivel yeah ankle joints knee joints jacket i'm sure you could take it off but i mean i don't really want to helmet i actually did not because i know you could take it off on her six inch no nah, no nah, it's welded down you guys can't see it or maybe you can let's find it yeah it's welded down you can't really can't take that off but um other than that yeah that's that's pretty cool for, with that let's see if i can make her at least stand up so i gotta hold her this whole time there we go sick but yeah this is Dr. Afra. Um, yeah, I mean, surprisingly, I'm surprised she uh, worked with Darth Vader and uh, almost got killed a few times from him. But, I mean, out of, out of her luck, you know, she even said it would be honorable if I at least die from you kind of thing. But, like I said, I'm not too into the uh, Afra comics. I'm waiting for her to honestly make a cameo in the, uh, if you guys want to know what that is, it's a lamp. It's a lamp. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm waiting for her to at least make a cameo or of some sort and, uh, in the actual Star Wars universe. I mean, we have so many projects coming out, you never know. Be it an Obi-Wan, 
Cause she's around the uh, imperial time period and she's like, I feel like she's like in her 20s honestly. Even though she's really tiny, she can still hold her pistol here, luckily. <laughs> Hands are so tiny, but um, for just safe purposes I'd put her, put it in the notch here in her little holster. Just like so. Belt detailing looks nice, I'm sure it's glued from the, yeah the back. It's glued right there by her butt crack so it doesn't come off. I'm sure, yeah, it's glued right here too. Double support. Orange looks nice too. I, I don't know why it's just some, like such a simple character. It could just really pop. They're just a simple blaster, the cool tattoo, the uh, pilot hat with the goggles, orange uh, fisherman coat, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's just so simple about characters that just pop out. One thing I definitely love about her is she's super rebellious. Like, she just has that like, like just that intention. Like I remember she, what I think the first comic or something, she like was uh trying to help some dude. I think if I can remember, and at the end she just shot him. Like okay, like yeah, thank you, <laughs> thanks for the help. Like she just does not care, and that's like the coolest shit about her, really. But I mean, like I said, I mean. I ain't too too in it. I wish I can get into it, but I'd rather see her on the big screen or yeah, honestly even in animated form. That would be cool too. I don't care, but um, um, I did make a crosshair video from the Bad Batch. If you guys watch that, I definitely, you know what? Not even definitely. Highly recommend you go watch it. It's not. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's, it's just really good. If you guys watch it, uh, go ahead and watch my crosshair video. Or if not, you know, you, you know, gotta, I ain't forcing you to do nothing. Just, I'm just, I'm just a guy. <laughs> It's weird because she she actually looks Asian. Her face looks Asian for some odd reason. I can get a better light with that, yeah. But her her uh, box character looks white. I think she even looks Asian in the the, the, the uh, comics, and her eyes are light brown, I believe, something like that. But no. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and uh, check out them comics. Uh, they're pretty far in as of her. I know that for sure. But uh. Definitely recommend you guys check her out if you're into rebellious archaeologist Star Wars characters, I guess. But yeah, uh, that was the end of the video. Like I said, I've never opened a Kenner, so that was definitely the first for me. And I mainly just wanted to open it because it was already tearing and all that good stuff. But other than that, I also wanted to give you guys some content, so why not do it in a good fashion? Hope you guys and girls liked the video. If you did not, just leave a dislike. If you liked it, please leave a like or simply a comment will do. Please subscribe also. That'll be cool. Need some more peeps to watch my shiz. Just to get to know y'alls. Peep different Star Wars people out there. <laughs> yeah. See you guys and girls in the next video. Peace. Facebook. One side is like more pushed out than the